Welcome back to Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. This time we're continuing our little road trip, or rather continuing the entire group's road trip as we go to the hazy city, Chicago. It's not the windy city here, it's like the hazy city, I don't know. Oh yeah, with us. Hold your mouses everybody, do not click that back button, do not go up to your bar and type S to get back to your subscription feed, because Tanker is here. These guys must be hardcore. Oh, are we actually? Yep, we're going. Great. I'm uh, glad that that set up the game for me. Tip, hold your air and flatland tricks for extra points and style. Simply hold the stunt button during a trick. Well, uh, let's see, going over some objectives. Right. We got to ride her right. down. We got to look out for our bros, you know? And it's St. Patty's Day. Turn the river green with one bail. That'll be no. enough for the whole river. No, you gotta do three. Oh, three. But, yeah. Thank God. So, did Matt Hoffman and everyone else Whoa. actually organize, like, a whole road trip for this game or, like, to promote this game or something? Because, like, you saw, you know, the logo for the game on the bus and you saw everyone in the bus. So, obviously, this exactly. was a thing. They that painted happened. a goddamn bus for this game. Just, just real quick. I'm noticing a difference from uh, skateboard, skateboard Evolution. That yeah. Was called, like. yeah, Skateboard First Evolution. First of all, I think the reason, and, and wisely so, I think the reason that they went with such a baggy cloth style for their cloth sim in that game is that immediately the first thing I noticed about this game is, man, it looks like his ass crack is so prominent. Uh, like, I'm going to say, time. when I fall over, you can see that his ass is two sharp points. Like he has a oh yeah, I mean he has a triangle. Butt. This this whole character must be made of like five polygons. Ruben Alicantra, or something, has a triangle butt. I don't know. So. Two out of three bales dumped. We'll yeah. And there we go. Luck Instantaneously the dies the whole river. In yeah, the whole river. So the whole damn river. The Chicago River. It's green. All the way to the ocean. Into uh -huh. the ocean. There's gonna be salmon that are just gonna be like, what is going on? Yeah. There's gonna be slaves that are what? trying to get water for the evening, and they're like, what is <laughs> going on? What is it, St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, St. Patty's Day. So, so we're wow, in Chicago, was... the overcast city. It's it, not the windy city, it's the hazy It's city, if, it's the foggy city. If you were trying to be as funny as George Lopez, uh, you succeeded, but you forgot the uh -huh. Yeah, uh-huh, see? And Sedek is very amused. Yeah, yeah. All right, so first thing I'm noticing about this city is, whoa, that's a yellow bus. Yeah, that's our tour bus. That's the tour bus that was in real life. Wow. Yeah, like they the actually connection made, that they they made the making, bus in real life. The connection just makes me feel so euphoric. I feel the immediate need to go out and purchase multiple fedoras. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, there's a helicopter. Yeah, no, you can't see it right now, but, but what Tinker's doing right now, that's his face of atheism. Yeah, yeah. the face of atheism, uh -huh. a.k.a. Just being an asshole. So, okay, so have you done anything like what's being uh, shown right here? You know, either bar, I've either a, yeah. bar spinning or fire hiding? Fun story, fun story. I was actually riding my bike one day. This was many years ago, back when my life had meaning. Uh, I was like in seventh grade, I think, and I was riding my bicycle, and all of a sudden, like my, my, like something hit my eye. And I, I had glasses at the time because I've had glasses since kindergarten. So I, I some hit like the glasses and kind of like so I was able to close my eye before the object actually hit my actual eye. But I had hit like a wasp or something because I had a sting on my eyelid, and it was hurt. It hurt like hell. And you know my immediate thought was, holy shit, 
If I didn't have glasses, I would have been stung in the eye. And it's like, you know, chalk one up to chalk one up to things not being that fucking bad when you think they're really bad, even though you don't think they're bad because you know they're not bad because they weren't that bad. So, you know, it's basically like sometimes you just gotta stand back, step back, and oh, pe- wow. Uh, yeah. And that hot dog was don't, very yeah, excited don't to get out of there. Think about how we're picking hot dogs off the ground. So, but sometimes you just gotta sit back, lean back, and just say, man. My life does not suck that much dick. There are people starving to death. There are people rioting for basic rights in Turkey. And you've got to say, yeah, my life just sucks somewhat. Still pretty bad, but not as bad as some other people. And, and you know, that's just how you got to have an outlook on life. And I think, I, I think we now know why Tinker is afraid of the outdoors. Yeah. Oh, no. I've been afraid of the outdoors ever since I realized that outside, it oftentimes gets higher than 65 degrees. Um... First thing, I've you, you know I haven't said this like you, I haven't put s- your goddamn I haven't phone away. I haven't said this in a video yet, but I always thought if someone subscribed to me like I get messages if someone oh subscribed God. to me while we were doing a video I would give a shout out to them. So congratulations to Ian Jenner, uh, you just subscribed to me and I just gave you a shout out because I got your message. <laughs> Ian Jenner, I'm gonna make this even better. This is coming from Tinker himself. Welcome to Insetic 47. Welcome to some of the shittiest Let's Plays you will ever see. But we take that and we're like, shitty gameplay, amazing commentary, and it balances out to just an average pile of shit. Uh, right. so, also, there's there. I mean, yeah. Tinker. Yeah. Well, there's bleep. Fucking, uh, there's bleep. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know me, I'm bleeping. So, alright, so we've got a friend, you know... Beard-a, who actually lives in Chicago, and so I'm going to ask these two, have either of you been up there to uh, see him? Because you could talk about, like, give real-life stuff about what Chicago looks like. You know, there's a guy uh, who follows my videos, used to live in New York, gave me some uh, 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 feedback, you know, in the New York levels of previous games, so Chicago experience. You know, I really like that. I like when we can have like, this channel is a nice size to where the people who comment usually, you know, have a decent comment. And this, and the amount of comments is, is sustainable to that, so that every single one of them is read. Yeah. Um, like, you move up to the point where some YouTube channels, you know, if but, they have them sent to their yeah. phone, they can read a comment, like, every couple of minutes. You know, that, that's, that's quite a bit of comments. But, you know, right now, every single comment that you make on this video is read, interpreted, and just thoroughly processed through the thinking machine to see if we can use it to change these videos in any way. So if you're ever sitting there on the edge, if you're like me, I never comment on YouTube videos because most of the time it's a waste of fucking time because the most upvoted comment is going to be like, I liked this video until I took a dick in the knee. And it's like, and then that's the top comment for 10 seconds, and then the next top comment is, Whoa, that's so lame. And it, it just goes in a vicious right. circle but, jerk. But, so, but, Chicago, so, Chicago. So basically, you know, if you're on the edge about making a comment, make one. We want to read them. We want to read them. I mean, I'm going to get a tattoo that says that. No, I'm not. But I'm going to think about getting a tattoo, and I just thought about it. Now I'm not thinking about it. What? Okay, so uh, I've been to Chicago. You could have just told me yes or no. No, that doesn't work like that. Did you go to Chicago, Tinker? Oh, I forgot about that question. No. Did you we, go to Chicago, Alan? It's probably been about six or seven years, but I've been there a couple times. All right, tell me, tell me, you know, this game, yeah, compared to real life, tell me. You know, it was it always this hazy? Was it always this dark, dreary, and depressing? And was the river always this green? Um, and was half the city always blocked off until you deposited five bridge tokens? I'll answer all the questions at once. No. I gotta say, you know, this road trip, we're the only ones really keeping this road trip together. We got, in the first level, we got the gas for the bus, we got the key for the bus. In this one, we're uh, opening the bridge to, you know, go to the other side of Chicago. Like, if Ruben Alicantre decided... uh, I'm really hoping I'm getting this last name right. If Ruben Alcantara didn't uh, decide to come along, man, Matt Hoffman, the rest of the guys would just be fucked. 
They'd have to get off their lazy asses and maybe do something for themselves. Man, they'd have to get off their lazy asses and use their large sum of cash and money to purchase gas and food. What a hard life. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say again, since as a kid I played Dave Mira, didn't play Matt Hoffman, I always thought Dave Mira was like the much more well-known biker. Yes, you can link me to the birth of Big Air. I watched it. I, I know now. All right, I watched that stuff. I watched it full screen. Basically, Matt Hoffman, you know, he got some pretty fucking big air, you know. Yeah, he did. Hey, he you know, inspired wow. kids everywhere to that... do 180s off ramps, hit right. children, fall off their bikes, and then never ride their bikes ever again because the uh, people who uh, ran the park uh, kicked me out. I mean, kicked him out. Fuck. I told you all the story back in Dave Mirror. Wow. It's depressing. I don't like I'd like to apologize for the last 45 seconds of this LP because they have just been complete trash. Again, um, again, Tinker, if you want to like do a podcast or something, I'll just upload that. And that's where you all can get your like required one hours of Tinker. You know, you required. want, it you, want a medical requirement. you want depressing stories. When you're, reading, when you're reading the instructions for your Viagra, it says you need to take with at least one hour of Tinker. And if you don't do it, like, if you stop the video at 59 minutes and 37 seconds because we're starting the outro, you're going to die. You're going to get a four hour and you're going to die. Well, A, no, our outros would start at about 45 minutes and yeah. run for a the fourth sign of, the video. of a the, the sign of a really good intro and outro is that if your regular viewers know to skip the first 45 seconds and the last minute of your video, you know you've got a fucking outro and a fucking intro. It's like, it's like machinima, gung-ho, check out my other videos, look at this video I made yesterday, well, welcome to the video, okay, title okay. of the video, a? intro to the video, a. video. A, uh... And then at the end, you just repeat all of it except for the video. Yeah, a, I've noticed that my viewer, like, the the video, I don't know, viewer analysis on it shows me what percentage of the, uh, viewers the, the uh, viewer uh, analytics. watched. Yeah, analytics, that's what I was thinking of. I noticed that, like, it takes a dip uh, for the first 30 seconds, and then it usually goes back up, so... Guys. That's why I think it's important that I talk in the first 30 B, seconds. B, uh, Tinker, you seem to be mad at the end of it. And I'm not I'd mad like at the internet. I'm mad at people like PewDiePie. Yeah. Really I mean, don't, don't, don't sigh. Don't, don't treat it like, oh, he's talking about PewDiePie again. Because he sucks. Anybody with half a fucking brain can scream at amnesia. We screamed at amnesia. We screamed at amnesia in a basement. What do we get? <laughs> Nothing. So much better than screaming at it in a living room or exactly. a kitchen. Exactly. Playing, playing it on your refrigerator TV. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna say, if there was an LP that played the game on one of those TVs that can be installed in refrigerators, I'd watch that. Hey, I'm Toby Turner. I think I'd honestly rather just go and play it in a Starbucks. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, actually, it's uh, okay. It's like this. It's like, it's like, hey, I'm talking to Toby Turner, talking to PewDiePie, and it's like. Oh man, I just got off of, you know, a, a 10 hour shift at work, but you know, at least I'm gonna rake in about 100, 150 bucks from that, you know, maybe got a little bit of overtime. And then Toby Turner's like, yeah man, I'm gonna film my, myself playing Happy Wheels for 10 minutes and 30 seconds and fucking monetize it for $250. And it's like, wow, you have an amazing skill set of playing Happy Wheels and going doo -doo 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 the entire time. You deserve massive amounts of money. Congratulations. That has that is what YouTube has become. It's become yeah. the kings are constantly oh getting bigger because they're on top subscribers, they're on trends, they're on everything that's hot and rising. Smosh puts out a, Smosh puts out a video of themselves copying each other's words for six minutes and they get fucking eight million views. And it's like, wow, look at all the actual content that's just getting shat upon by the YouTube machine. And it's like, hey, Congratulations, you can run ads. I'm gonna give you 10 cents a week. And, and it's like, my god, who buys deodorant because of an advertisement? Nobody! <laughs> Fucking degree of that, okay. So, um... Be, be in serious for a little bit next time we're going to New Orleans. Uh, Ooh, going back to the funny... Here, um, I can actually contribute to New Orleans. Uh, I was actually... I actually lived in New Orleans for... Uh, two years 
and a lot of my family is down there, and uh, I I have been down there uh, many, many times. So I, I'm actually very familiar with New Orleans, Mardi Gras, some of the famous attractions down there. Is something fucking funny over there? Did you stop recording? No, we're still, we're still going. Why isn't that thing going wibbity wibbity wibbity? Uh, oh, is because, that the game yeah, sound? Yeah, that's the game sound. What a cock. All right, um... Let's just goes to show you Movie Studio Platinum 12.0. Uh, <laughs> Not very so clear. Um, when we do New Orleans, I guess I could get Tinker in on it again. Wow, are you mumbling like in a Fast Five movie? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I showed them all his trailers. It was a good time. Oh man. Uh, well, thank you. We're gonna we're not gonna have a big outro. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Take, don't, I don't want you to stop this, like, accidentally. Not going to have a Here's big our outro. outro. goes on for two minutes. Here's our outro. <clears throat> this, what, what LP is this? What part is this? Part two. Part, part two of, what's the game again? Matt Hoffman 2. <laughs> Matt Hoffman 2. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching Matt Hoffman 2. Part two by Insetic 47 with guest stars Tinker and Twee. Thank you for tuning into Insetic. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and favorite and share on Facebook. Yeah. And and add, I'll add you to my mailing list. I need you to write down. I need you to physically write the URL of this video on a huh. piece of paper with mm-hmm. a pen and mm-hmm. mail it to your grandmother. I was so going she to say email, spend, but yeah. She could spend two hours painstakingly transcribing it to text, only to mistakenly type one letter to have the URL autocorrect to a Google search, to which it will be unsuccessful, so that she could be. Again, anew. Thank you for watching. This has been Insetic 47 and Friends with Matt Alfred 2. Please tune in next time for New Orleans.